Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your own nail polish at home. Let's get started. To start this process, all you're going to need is some acetone, a small container, an empty nail polish bottle, and some Q-tips. So the first thing that we're going to do is get our empty nail polish container. Now, it's not really empty. There's still a little bit of nail polish in there. So I'm just going to get my acetone and I'm going to pour it in our bottle. Notice I'm not pouring it up to the brim. I'm just pouring a little bit. And then we're going to shake it, shake it, shake it to get all of the nail polish residue off. So after you shake it up, we're going to just pour it out into our empty container. And we're going to repeat this step until it's as clear as we can get it. So once you've shaken the bottle one time, the second time around, you're going to get a q-tip and you're just going to rub around the bottle on the inside until you get it nice and clear. And you're going to also do the same with our brush until it is clean. And again, this took 8 to 10 minutes. If you don't want to take that long, you can just get a container and a paintbrush and you can paint your nail that way. So here is some store-bought nail polish. No, we're not using this for the recipe. I just wanted to look at the consistency because I want our homemade nail polish to match it. So let's put that to the side and get our container to make our nail polish. We have some acrylic craft paint and we have it in the color red and white. You can get this from funbindbag.com or any craft store. And we got our paintbrush and now we're gonna start making our color. I want to make pink so you just get a little red and a little white. Depending on how bright you want your pink, you're going to adjust the amount of white you put in yours. But yeah, as you can see, I'm putting glitter. You don't have to do this. I was just being extra. And then you're going to mix until you have your desired color. So we have the perfect color, but it's too thick. So you're going to dilute it by putting water. You don't have to spray it in like me. I was just being a little extra as per usual <laughs> and I didn't really want to like get a bottle and pour it in so I just use a spray bottle and you're going to pour in your water a little at a time. You don't want it to be too watery because then you're going to have to start over. So as you can see, this is the consistency that I ended up with. It's not too thick, but it's not too watery. It's just right. It kind of matches with the nail polish that I have at the side. So now I'm just going to pour it into my nail polish container. And as you're about to see, I did not make enough nail polish. So we're going to have to repeat that step all over again. But no worries, this is a really easy process to do. It's just mixing paint and water. And me, I added a little bit of glitter. You don't really have to do that. And we're going to continue to mix it until we get the consistency that we want. Again, don't make it too thick. I mean, if you want to, you can try it out and tell me how it goes. But I like it when it's a little watery so it can spread on our finger a little easier. So yeah, just continue to mix until you get the right consistency. Now, if you try this tutorial at home, definitely let me know in the comment section below how your nail polish turned out. And let's not waste any more time. Let's paint our nails and see how our nail polish ended up. Did we do a good job? But let's find out. And moment of truth. Oh, did we? Hey, let's go. It looks nice. It looks nice. And we're going to continue to paint our nails. And what I love about this nail polish is that if you mess up, guess what this is acrylic paint so all you need is a little water and you can just wipe it off if it gets on your hand or you can just scrape it off with your nail like that but yeah i love this because i sometimes i don't like using acetone because it makes like my fingers dry 
but with this nail polish you can literally just use a napkin with some water and wipe off the nail polish. The next step that we're gonna do is put our top coat on. And there's two reasons why we want to put our top coat on. The first reason is because as you can see our nails, it looks a little like it has a matte effect to it. And matte just means dull and the opposite of glossy. And we do want our nails to look glossy. So we're gonna add our top coat because of that. The second reason why we're gonna add our top coat is because we want to make sure that our nail polish doesn't easily rub off like I mentioned before the good thing about this homemade nail polish is that it has the ability to be cleaned off easily with just water but the bad thing about this is that it does remove easily with water so if you take a shower or do anything like that it will rub off and just to prove a point I'm just gonna get some water on a little q-tip and I'm just gonna rub a little bit off of my nail just to show you that it can easily rub off And voila, this is how you can make your own nail polish at home. And once you have red, yellow, and blue, you can make any color in the rainbow. So definitely give it a shot and let me know how it turns out for you. And if you want to stay, you can stay on the video. I'm just going to show you a different nail polish that I made. I made a lavender, if you would say lavender. Yeah, we're just going to call it lavender, but I ended up really liking this color. I started painting my fingernails with it and I ended up not liking it, so I just ended up painting my toes. And I'm not going to lie, I don't like showing my toes on here, but I'll just show you guys real quick just to show you how it ended up. And it ended up being very pretty. And yeah, this is very fun. It's very easy. It's just acrylic paint and water. Like, it's that simple definitely give this a shot i want to see you guys like try it out and yes i made enough paint i made enough paint this time i actually overdid it and made too much paint but yeah i just made my own homemade nail polish for the second time and it was that easy and i'm just gonna paint a little i'm just gonna paint my thumb just to show you guys the color and how it turned out it was very beautiful but for some reason I don't really like solid bold colors on my fingernails you're gonna notice in a lot of my videos that I don't even use bold colors like this on my fingernails so I ended up just cleaning it off and it's so easy just use water to clean it off and I like to go online and look at pictures to paint my nails and I ended up with this design it was super pretty and I just flashed my toes real quick just so you can see that I didn't waste the lavender that I just made and again make sure that you seal in your design with your top coat you don't want this to rub off so don't forget that step and I just loved this it's so cute it's simple it's not too like bold it's not a solid color I like simple small designs like this and I ended up changing my nails again after a week and I loved this nail design this is my favorite nail design that I've ever made and this is my other hand it's not really my favorite but it's still cute anywho I hope you enjoyed this video if you did you can give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one